Yo, what's going on everybody? Need for Beans over here. In this video, I'll be going over the best competitive Valorant settings for NVIDIA RTX 30 series, 20 series, and GTX cards. So this applies to all NVIDIA cards. And in my case, I'm using an RTX 2070 Super with an overclocked i9 9900K. All right. So first, I'm going to go over my in-game settings, and then I'm going to go over my NVIDIA settings, and then give you guys a few more tips on how to optimize Valorant and what you should and shouldn't do. So going into my game settings is very simple. Let's go to graphics quality. We have multi-threaded rendering on. I tested it with off, and I got lower FPS. Material quality low. Texture quality high. We're doing the same setting we did for Fortnite and Warzone, all these other games where we leave textures high as high as possible so think of it as like big trucks running down a freeway and you don't want to start optimizing or buffering or multi-threading anything you don't want to buffer these trucks you want to let them go as fast as possible because once they like catch our speed they go fast you don't want to stop them so we kind of let the textures be as high quality as possible and we turn everything else down anti-aliasing none anisotropic filtering to 1x we could turn it off completely but i suggest not to do that i suggest to leave it at 1x and all of these clarity distortion bloom shadows you can leave off v-sync obviously off off ui quality low detail quality low and material quality low now as you can see right now i'm recording as well uh using streamlabs so usually i get about 700 fps right now i'm like 400 uh, but if you notice, I'm hovering right about 400 FPS, 470 to 370. It's kind of a big gap. But if I put everything on high, see, my FPS starts going to the low 200s. So I highly suggest keep this low and keep your texture quality high. Because your graphics cards, especially if you have an RTX card, have absolutely no problem rendering the textures. So this is pretty much it for my Valorant settings. Um, now let's hop out of the game and I'll show you guys my NVIDIA settings. So here are my Valorant NVIDIA settings. So let's go over each one. Image sharpening off. Anisotropic filtering. Application controlled. We could turn it off, but you want to leave it application controlled because it creates less of a bottleneck in the render queue if you let the application control the settings. So even though it's on 1x, it's still better to leave it 1x application control than override it through NVIDIA. Anti-aliasing FXAA, because we don't have a setting for that in Valorant, we turn it off through NVIDIA. Anti-aliasing gamma correction off mode, application controlled. That is extremely important. It's not, it's, there's a difference between application controlled and off. And if there is already a setting for anti-aliasing mode or anti-aliasing, then you want to make sure that you let the application control it. Transparency off, max frame rate off. GPUs all. This is pretty self-explanatory. Now, low latency mode. If your CPU is your bottleneck, in my case, I have an i9 9900K, which is overclocked. But if you have a slow CPU, like a slow clock, doesn't matter how many cores you have. If you have a slow clock speed, let's say 3.2 gigahertz or below, then low latency mode might put a lot of stress on your CPU. So I would suggest to leave it on or maybe even off. Uh, max frame rate off, multi frame sampled AA off. Um, you know, honestly, shader cache on. This again, if you have a slow CPU, then turn it on. But in my case, I left shader cache on because the shaders are just uh, for loading screens, stuff like that. So, um, again, these settings, while they do make some difference, at the end of the day, they don't really make that big of a difference. The biggest difference in performance is going to be your hardware your ram your cpu all right texture filtering we allow we don't clamp anything again we don't want to buffer the freeware we don't want to clamp anything filter quality high quality so we let the textures be high quality no filters third optimization auto because we have a setting in our game triple buffering off vertical sync off this is vr so that is it one other thing valorant is a dx11 game but even though previously i said that you should um turn off full screen optimizations for dx11 games in my tests i saw no difference 
turning off or on the full screen optimizations. What I mean is if you go to your binaries, Win64, a lot of people will tell you to right click properties, compatibility, check this one. I tested it with both on and off, and honestly, it was more of a, just a problem with having it off. So in my case, with the RTX 2070 i9 and Windows 10, I'm not activated. Um, it made no difference. If anything, it made it more painful to use Valorant and I'll tab in and out. So I would suggest not messing with the full screen optimizations. And your best bet, if you're still struggling to get FPS or you're getting some sort of stutters, then make sure your hard drives, you have fast hard drives. Make sure you're not running on regular hard drive. At least have an SSD. My D drive is an M.2 SSD. And the C drive is a regular SSD. Also, make sure there's some room on your drives. Make sure it's not red. I'm kind of running out of room here. but And last but not least, one of the most important things that can really help you with your FPS that a lot of people don't know about is XMP profile for your RAM. So if you built your own PC or if you got a pre-built, you never know. A lot of times, if you go to the BIOS, this is where you press delete or F11 or F7 when your computer turns up, you can go to a BIOS and you can enable an XMP profile for your RAM. So let me show what I'm talking about here. Here's my RAM. Now my memory is running at 4,000 megahertz, but by default, if I just install it and run it, it goes at 3,200. So by increasing your speed from 3,200 to 4,000, it's like increasing your, imagine increasing your CPU from 3.2 gigahertz to four. That's a huge, huge improvement. A lot of times you guys are running like 2,400, 2,600 when you could be running 32, 34. That is going to be your biggest uh, improvement that you can see just turning on that XMP profile and seeing instant improvement in your frames. Another thing to consider if you have maybe a slow CPU, turn off multi-threaded rendering. It doesn't have to be on. So mine is again overclocked to about five, slightly under. But I think it runs about 4.7 um, normally. Uh, so yeah, those are pretty much all the settings. Again, I highly recommend don't mess with any registry edits or don't download any weird programs. Please don't. You have pretty much three options. You either upgrade your hardware, you set your NVIDIA settings, or you set your Valorant settings. All right. Anything else beside that is honestly just complete nonsense. So. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped clear some uh, misconceptions about Valorant settings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please only like this video if it actually helped you improve your FPS. And if it didn't, then I hope that it at least gave you an idea of how to better optimize your own system. Need for Beans, out. Peace.